With a 70 year history of making the most iconic SUV on the planet, Land Rover has now come out with the brand new Defender. And according to Land Rover, the new Defender is their strongest and most toughest SUV they've ever built till date. This is the Land Rover of the 21st century, the all new Defender. And boy oh boy, it is one mean looking machine. Just look at the size of this. It's such a big, bulky, muscular machine. You can tell by the front end how it's so flared out and very muscular from the front all the way to the back with that boxy design. It's a very utilitarian design obviously, but still it's a very practical design nonetheless. And boy, it does look good on the road. The road presence that this machine has on the road is unmatched. Now, I know what you're going to say. It doesn't have that aerodynamic fluidity that a lot of luxury SUVs have. But again, this is a very functional built SUV and it's made to do things that are almost impossible in any other luxury SUV. And here we are today in the off-road adventure zone in Gurgaon. And we've had a fantastic day with this machine to push it to its limits and see exactly what it can do. And we've had so much fun today, it's hard for me to even tell you uh, just how capable this machine really is. I mean, you can already see it's pretty dirty because we've been pushing it through a lot of different obstacles here. And this machine has certainly left a lasting impression on me. Now, of course, the exterior looks make it look like a big, bad SUV that can go over anything. And when you get inside, actually, it's quite the opposite. It's a very uh, nicely designed interior, very plush, not ultra luxurious, but definitely uh, it is comfortable inside. And because of its boxy shape, you have lots of room. There's so much room. And when it comes to technology, this SUV here is the most high-tech off-road capable machine that I've ever driven. And there's so many things I want to talk about uh, because this car is just filled with so much gadgets and gizmos that actually make your life much easier when you want to go on the rough stuff. But besides being a very thoroughbred, hardcore off-road machine, this car actually drives pretty well on the road as well. Now, it's got the 2-liter turbo petrol Ingenium engine from the JLR series and it's a very good engine for this car. It gets about 296 brake horsepower and 400 Nm of torque. And you get all of that torque from as low as 1500 RPM. And of course, you can expect the most engaging driving dynamics from this machine when you're driving it on the road, but still it's a very comfortable machine. The steering is nice and soft. Uh, the engine has great acceleration power. Um, it does have a little bit of lag, obviously, but still the road manners it has are absolutely beautiful. Uh, a very comfortable machine to drive. But I have to say, when you're driving this car on the road, because of its size, you actually feel like it's a very, very big machine. But, of course, this car has a lot of gizmos, like I mentioned, that will actually assist you whenever you're maneuvering this vehicle or parking it or going off-road. Because if you look around the car, there are cameras placed every single place of this car, from the front to the back, under the rear view mirrors, on the sides. It is insane the amount of cameras this car has. And some of those features we'll talk about later really, you know, assist in your driving. And I'm not a, a person who actually likes a lot of technology in a vehicle, but I was certainly impressed today with the amount of uh, gadgetry that this car comes with that actually really does assist you. Now, the engine is definitely a very powerful engine, and it has a claimed 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in about 8 seconds. And uh, that's in the 5 door version that we have right here. This also comes made to an 8-speed automatic gearbox. And the new Defender also gets a permanent four-wheel drive system with a locking center differential and an active rear locking differential. It also features Land Rover's terrain response system, which employs electronic aids based on a range of conditions. Now, this is also packed with so many features on the inside. It gets a 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system and a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster. It gets automatic climate control, connected car tech, wireless charging, a Meridian audio system, 12-way adjustable seats, and of course, a new 360 degree surround camera. It also gets LED lights and electronic air suspension as standard on the 110 model. In terms of safety, there are even more features and it gets ABS, six airbags, traction control, a driver condition monitor, blind spot assist, and front and rear parking sensors. Now the interior is also very plush and it gets grain leather and woven textile seats and it features rubber flooring, making the interior easier to wash down when it gets dirty. It also gets manual third row seats and a center console with armrest that's optional. And then of course it also gets a fridge. It's got a cross car beam with white finish, 
a rough cut walnut veneer. It also comes with a smartphone pack for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So the amount of features that this car has is actually astounding. I mean, there's just so much in there. It took me almost an hour just to play with the entire system to see what all this car can do. And there's so many things that it's just mind boggling. But still, it doesn't take away from the fact that this car still is a very, very uh, powerful and very capable off-roading machine. And I found out today that it's actually a very effortless drive as well. Some of the obstacles we went over today were pretty intense, but because this car has so much technology, and of course, the torque vectoring on the all-wheel drive system was fantastic. You really don't have to do much. I mean, you just have to put the car in gear and the car literally just goes over any obstacle that comes in its way. You just modulate the throttle a little bit and really it's, it's a piece of cake to go over anything. We went on very steep inclines. We went on dips, on rocks, on boulders. We went splashing around in a mud pool and really it, it didn't matter what driving mode we were in. Uh, the car is just so easily adaptable to what you're doing and you can obviously adjust everything that the car can do as well because this car comes with the configurator as well for the terrain so you can adjust the torque, you can adjust the power, the suspension and the car will just do almost anything you want it to do. Now Land Rover has said that this is their toughest and strongest and most capable off-roading machine they've ever made and I have to agree with them actually this car really blew us away. Uh, there were a certain uh, number of obstacles here that I was kind of hesitant to go over. Uh, but really, I mean, the car just blew me away in the ease that it could just go over anything. And another good system is the new camera system that it has now. So when you're driving the car, if you don't have a spotter, there are cameras underneath uh, the side view mirrors and in the front that show you exactly where your tires are and exactly where you need to be. So you have cameras that show you an overhead view, a straight view and a side view. So you can see which direction your tires are pointing in, what is in front of your tires, what's on the side of your, of your path. And really it's, it just assists you in so many ways. Um, it really is the most high-tech machine for sure in what it can do. And uh, for the price you're paying, I believe this model is about 86 lakh rupees X showroom. Um, it's really a lot of value for money because this is not your typical luxury SUV like the X5 or the Q5. Um, this really is a very, very highly capable and also a slightly more practical machine than those because there's so much you can do with it. Even the rear boot space, you've got a lot of space there to do a lot of things with. You've got controls on the back, you've got cup holders all over, you've got uh, the most amount of power sockets I've seen in a car ever. I mean, there's like three in the front and maybe five or six in the back where you can plug in USB uh, charge points. There's just so much this car has to offer. Um, the beautiful sunroof, it's got also sky windows in the back. Uh, it's just got so many things that you wouldn't necessarily expect to find in a proper luxury SUV. And that just really says a lot about what the development process has done for this car, what all Land Rover has done to make sure that the new Defender will be one of the best SUVs on the planet today. And it's safe to say, after driving it around, having a great time with it, I really think that this is by far my favorite luxury SUV now. This car gets air suspension, of course, and because it gets that, you can raise the ground clearance of the car. It is about 220 millimeters at standard. And when you go into off-road mode, it goes up to 290 millimeters, which is really very high. As you can see, just by opening the door, the car is situated very high up and it feels like you're getting into a truck almost because it's so high. And then it's got a very good weighting depth as well. It can go up to 900 millimeters in water and drive uh, straight through it. So it even has a sensor inside in the display that shows you what the weighting depth can be of your car depending on the setting that you're in. And there's just so much more that it tells you. It tells you the approach angle, the departure angle, all the information about everything you're doing is just shown to you on the display. And that is really something that I've never seen before in an off-road machine. Uh, uh, especially a luxury off-road machine. Certainly, these are very good technology features that I think will go a long way uh, for a lot of people who don't really know how to uh, handle the, a lot of rough off-roading. Those aids will actually assist you, which is uh, kind of unbelievable because this car is so big and so massive and it's such a sturdy vehicle. It just feels so well planted and the suspension setting is fantastic for off-road use. Uh, I mean, this car is not meant to be driven fast. But even when we were going around small circuits here, I was pushing the car and the car really just flies over anything and you don't feel much of the bumps and the vibrations inside the vehicle. It just feels so nice and sturdy. 
uh, on the road also that pays off a lot because on Indian roads we know they're not the best. This car has fantastic ride quality and really, really impressed me considering the size that it is, that how easy it is to drive and manage, even though it feels like a big car when you're inside it, you get a great commanding view of the road and you can pummel down the highway and you feel like you're in a tank almost. That's how big and strong this car feels. Not to mention, it also makes you feel pretty good when you're driving it. So in this segment, there aren't many cars that compete directly with this, of course. This is a pretty high-end niche off-roading machine. The closest competitor that we can think of is probably the Jeep Wrangler because that also has the same capability of, as this right here. Now, the Jeep Wrangler comes in at about 65 lakh rupees ex showroom and this is about 10 lakhs more than that for the base variant. The model we have here is the SE variant and that is about 86 lakh rupees ex showroom and you also have the first edition variant which is about a little bit more than that which comes even more loaded with a lot more features. But I think this variant is pretty much all you need uh, in terms of technology because if you are an off-roading enthusiast, this car can do it all. There's no question about that. It is highly capable of doing everything. We've put it to the test today and it certainly really has uh, knocked my socks off. I was really impressed with it. You cannot compare it with the full luxury SUV because obviously the interiors and the, the safety technology is a little bit more in those. But for what you're paying for, like I mentioned, value for money. If this is an enthusiast vehicle that you want, it is absolutely amazing. There is a three-door version as well that's available, uh, but I do think that the fighter version is a much better option. There's so much more space and it's the perfect family adventure machine. So if, if I want to put this in a nutshell, I will just say it straight up that I think this is the best SUV that I've driven till date. This thing certainly blew me away and I think Land Rover have done a fantastic job with the Defender and I'm sure it'll be a great hit.